So in this video, I'm going to try and find the horizontal and vertical components of this vector. And uh, finding the components of the vector is just a way of splitting it so I can find two forces that when I add them together would give this, where the two forces are at right angles. So in order to do this, um, I, my first job is to come up with a scale, and I think I'll do 1 centimetre equals 20 newtons because that will mean this will be 10 centimetres long, which will be a nice size. So if I choose that as my starting point, and then I need to measure my angle of 25 newtons, and I can now draw in my vector, which needs to be exactly 10 centimetres long. Here we go and get the arrowhead perfect at the end and I can label that as my 200 newtons. Now for the next bit a set square is really useful so you can dig that out of your bag maybe you got a set given to you when you started school in year seven and uh, you finally got a use for it. Okay so what I can do now is <coughs> use my set square to um, neatly draw a construction line, Ooh, not very good job, let's rub that out, um, to neatly draw a construction line along here and then I can put my set square on top of that and draw a construction line like that um, um, <coughs> I can put my set square and neatly along here, lined up with the arrowhead here, draw another construction line like that. And now I'm ready to draw in my vertical component over here, which will go up to that construction line. And my horizontal component over here, which will go up to that construction line. And then what I need to do is measure the length of this, and this is 9.1 centimetre, which would be 182 newtons, 9.1 times 20, and this one is 4.3 centimetres, which would be 86 newtons when I multiply it by 20. And there we are. We've split this into two components, which if I added them together again, would give me the 200 newtons. For interest, I could check how well I've done with my scale drawing by using some trigonometry. So if this was 25 degrees, I could also work out this length <coughs> as being 200 times cos 25 degrees which gives 181 degrees, so not too bad to get 182. And this one uh, should be 200 times sine 25 degrees, and that gives 85 newtons to, one, uh, to two significant figures. Got 86, again, not too bad.